Hey, here you are. Okay. So, I finished the sloth cake and the one that I was going to cover in blue fondant. They're completely done. They're sitting here resting until I box them up. Can't show you them just because I want the customer to be the first person to see them. So, sorry. Um, you know, cookies are done. This sheet cake that I just got done icing, I'm getting ready to smooth it out, goes with the Transylvania University cookies. So I'll have those same color scheme on that. So I'm gonna smooth this out and get this piped. And then I'm gonna stop and eat dinner. But then I've got my wedding cake sitting here waiting to be iced. All three tiers. It'll be a little taller than this once it's got the filling and the icing on it. But basically, it's a six, eight, 10. It serves about 50 people. And that tends to be, I feel like what I'm seeing a lot of with weddings right now because they want the three tier, but they don't have to feed a ton of people. So, um, I'm actually going to smooth this cake out while I'm talking to you. Move this seat. See me. Anyway, um, and most of you probably already know this because you've seen me do other videos, but I use Viva Paper Towels. The smooth ones, not the multi-surface ones with texture on, but the smooth ones. Just move that on my cake. So once I get it on here, I take a scraper, I scrape off the excess, and then I just use my hands. And just barely, you're not pushing down hard, you're just putting enough pressure to take the lines out of the cake. And this, I mean, this will work on any icing, or not, I'm sorry, not on any icing, not any style of icing on a cake, as far as like whether you do it smooth or textured, but you know, it's meant for smooth. Sometimes if I do a texture, I think it's too textured, like too much going on, I'll roll back with one of these just barely and smooth out portions of it, but for the most part, if you are using a stabilizer in your icing, like a high ratio shortening, or some people use meringue powder to stabilize their buttercream, once it sets for, like it is set for about just like three, four, or five minutes um, after I smoothed it, and now I can go back and do this, if you let it sit too long, then it won't do it at all. But if you try to do it immediately afterwards, sometimes it'll stick to the paper towel and won't it won't be smooth. So basically it just, when you ice a cake, even if you do a really good job of smoothing it with your scraper, you might get some few lines or air bubbles and this will take those out. So that's why I like it. So you think you get a cake smooth and you're like, oh, it looks okay. And you do this and you're like, oh, so much better. It's like magic. But again, it has to be the video paper towel and it has to be the smooth version, not the multi-surface. Or multi, I think it's called multi-surface Viva or something, so it has like a scratchier side on one side. You don't want that. Um, so this one's a quarter sheet chocolate, so that's going to serve about 15 people. It's like a 9 by 14. Um, and as you can see on the wedding cake, they're all three different flavors. The top tier is white, middle tier is bourbon, bottom tier is champagne. So as long as you're doing a fully iced cake, not like the naked cake or anything like that, you can do three different flavors. Um, you know, some people will say not to do chocolate or red velvet on a wedding cake or a tiered cake if it's going to be iced in white buttercream because you can kind of see, not see through it, but you'll see like darker areas. And there is truth to that. Um, but I've done it before. I think that if you're going to do a design like the scrolling where it has all this, you know, the curly cue kind of whatever over the smooth icing, that helps to disguise it a little bit when you have the darker uh, look behind it. Or if you're doing like a rough icing, which is kind of that homemade look, almost like spackle. Um, that tends to cover it really well. So you can you can adjust that rule a little bit. But, so yeah, I'm going to decorate this in the transy colors, the writing and all that. And then I'm going to add my fillings and icings to these three tiers and get them on boards. And then what I'll probably, and then I'm going to eat dinner. But then what I'll probably do is pop back on here I don't know if I'll pop back on as I'm icing them so you can see the texture I'm going to do on these or if you, or if I'll pop back on when I stack it. Probably the texture because um, that'll be a little bit sooner. I'll have, I'll let you watch me add texture to one of these tiers before I stack it because you definitely, it makes it a lot easier to decorate the tier and then stack it um, instead of trying to do it all at once. But I will say if you're going to do a textured icing, you have to do it while it's still soft. So, for instance, you would put the icing on the cake, instead of using the video paper towel to smooth it out, you would do whatever design it is that you're going to be doing, 
at that point because if it dries, if it, se it sets up, it crusts over is what I call it, um, then it won't do the texture. It'll pull, it'll pull some of the cake off because it's already set up at that point. So you have to do textures right after icing them. So those are all the little tidbits I can think of for right now. Um, I will, all the cakes that I'm decorating this weekend, that you'll kind of see how I've gone here with them, I'll post pictures of them beginning of next week so you can see how they turned out. Um, so far, the, my favorite is the baby sloth. Um, I wasn't sure how I felt about that, but it's super cute. I really like it. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, and again, I haven't got back on here to see who I wanted some cookies. I think there were a couple of you that said you wanted them, so I'll just draw a name. But those are dry and ready to go, and I'll have those ready in the morning at 10.30, whoever gets them. Message me if you have an order. Uh, as far as next week, I can only take cupcakes at this point. Um, I'm, I'm pretty packed for next week, so cupcakes only. Sorry. Um, unless you've already placed your order, obviously. But I'm going to pop off here, finish this, get this stacked, and eat some dinner, and I will see you all momentarily.